All right, so um, just like with any shoe, you of course have the tread, um, which we basically just cut off the bottom of a normal shoe. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, we have a layer that looks like this, and it will be glued to the tread, and it will hold some sort of uh, slot piece, kind of like this. And the slot piece will hold a pin that's kind of the same uh, shape as a screw. And it'll rest inside this slot here. Uh, on top of that, we'll have some Teflon just to reduce uh, surface friction between the two sliding layers. Then we'll have another... Is that, is that this, uh, this yellow layer here, or that's a different... That's just the skirt, but you can see that the oh, white I see, is the I see, Teflon, I see, I see, I see. just like this. Yeah. So they'll be in contact with each other, which would totally reduce um, surface friction, like I said. So they'll lay on top, and then you'll have this kind of... Uh, elastic skirt material around the outside to keep out dirt, debris, and kind of prevent um, the two faces from shifting too far. And then you'll have your layer that looks like this, kind of a honeycomb shape, which will hold your actual goat's head spring. Uh, it'll look like this with a kind of an actuator in between that will slide, and it'll just sit in here. The screw from earlier, um, mm -hmm. which will be a pin in later right. iterations, um, goes all the way through the slots mm -hmm. and attaches onto the other side of the actuator so that when together the two pieces will be able to slide back and forth um, and side to side as well. Then you have your heel cup structure which will hold basically a cut in half version of the goat's head and it will hold two, um, one on either side of the heel and then it'll have like a cross beam that the, um, I guess, inner uh, heel cup will rest on. This cup will be kind of where the foot is after um, some standard shoe padding and then we will just attach the upper usually um, using sewing or glue just like so. So it'll mostly look like a normal shoe, um, probably something like this when it's all done. Uh, but of course it'll have the horizontal springs inside of the tread layers and then it will have the vertical springs inside of the heel. Hold on. Thank you.